So many signs of life across America this weekend. As the vaccination rate goes up and infection rate goes down, the country is healing. CBS4's Meg Oliver takes a look. Tonight, Americans are returning from the busiest holiday travel weekend since the pandemic began, with more than 37 million people taking to the skies and roads to see family and friends, up 60% from this time last year. Over the long weekend, more than 7 million have passed through the nation's airports. With long overdue reunions on full display. It's been over a year since we've seen them. It's been a long, long time. As vaccinated Americans embark on their first maskless holiday, many families live for the first time in more than a year. A nation reunited, honoring our fallen heroes. <laughs> families returning to familiar rituals as they remember the sacrifices of our soldiers. Sacrifices that unite us, as President Biden reminded Americans today. We owe the honored dead a debt we can never fully repay. We owe them our whole souls. We owe them our full best efforts to perfect the union. Words that resonate after a year of monumental loss. Once again, beaches were crowded and stadiums were full, with America's favorite pastime finally making a big comeback. <laughs> Crowds were overflowing at this pool party in Houston, Texas. But the summer fun may be dampened by a chlorine shortage fueled by a record number of pools. And for those trying to beat the heat, movie theaters like AMC saw their busiest weekend since their reopening last August. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I'm ready to eat some popcorn. Gas prices haven't deterred folks with places to go and people to see, even with prices topping $4 a gallon in California. Today's national gas price average is more than $3, up more than a dollar from this time last year. It was a little nerve wracking at first. Back at Newark International Airport, travelers like Samantha Fumosa feel reinvigorated after returning from Florida. And how does it feel to be traveling on Memorial Day? It feels so great. I can't even tell you how great it feels. We had a girls' weekend, so it was much needed. Over the weekend, American Airlines joined Southwest banning alcohol sales until September. This comes after a recent uptick in the number of violent incidents on board that have injured employees. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Newark, New Jersey.